Hey, I'm Pat, welcome to Daily Devo. Today we're gonna to talk about words matter. English teachers, you are going to love me today. Words matter. Words matter. We've all heard that phrase before, but allow me to show you how true this statement, words matter, is regarding some of Jesus' last words. In John chapter 14 to 16, Jesus is having a discussion with his disciples. It's an important dialogue because Jesus knows that the next day he will allow the Roman soldiers to nail him to that tool of death called the cross. The disciples at the time don't recognize the urgency in Jesus' words, but Jesus certainly does. One of the interesting things Jesus does in this conversation is he speaks to the hope of the promised spirit and he introduces a new word to describe the Holy Spirit. It's a word that is so packed with meaning that if you were to grab numerous English translations, you would find a plethora of different words attempting to translate the meaning of this Greek word that Jesus used. For example, here are just a few of the terms used to describe the new word Jesus used to explain the Holy Spirit. Comforter, counselor, advocate, friend, and helper. Listen to what Jesus says in John chapter 14, verses 16 to 17, and let me insert all of those definitions into the verse. If you love me, keep my commands, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate, a comforter, a counselor, a friend, a helper, to help you and be with you forever, the spirit of truth. The world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows him, but you know him, for he lives with you and will be in you. Remember, words matter. English teachers, I told you that you would love me today. Listen to this. Words matter regarding the noun that Jesus used to describe the Holy Spirit, but they also really matter in the prepositional phrase that Jesus used in the end of the verse. Listen closely to what Jesus says about the Spirit of God in the last part of verse 17. Jesus says he lives with you now and later will be in you. He's with you now, but someday will be in you. Why is that so significant? To be honest, for a long time, I kind of struggled with these verses because Jesus tells these guys he needs to leave so they can have something better. And he's referring to this promise of the Spirit. And I struggled because I thought, what can be better than a flesh and blood God? What can be better than God in the flesh that I could actually see and touch and hear? Ha! Ah. But then I began to understand the depth of this promise that Jesus gives us based on that prepositional phrase. You see, when Jesus took on flesh, he limited himself to adequately feel the depths of humanity. Now, don't misunderstand me. I did not say he ceased to be God, because that is theologically incorrect. No, Jesus remained fully God, but he chose to not use some of his attributes in order to fully immerse himself in humanity. So Jesus, like all of us humans, had to walk to get to another location. He chose to not leverage his attribute of being omnipresent. Jesus was limited in his ability to be with his disciples, or I might say with us, in his physical presence. The same way you and I are limited of only being in one location at a time. <laughs> but his spirit, now his spirit could be in all places at all times. His spirit could be with us wherever we go and whenever we go. And not just with us, but in us. In that little upper room, the night before Jesus would go to the cross, he was essentially saying, I'm going to leave you now, but I'm going to send you someone who is always going to be there for you, no matter what your problem, no matter what your circumstance, no matter what your trial, frustration, or irritation, no matter where you come up against or what you come up against, this helper will be with you, and not just with you, but in you. You see, the Holy Spirit is not just with us, he is within us. You can't get any closer than that. My friends, the Holy Spirit is not just a nice addendum to the Christian faith. No, the Spirit of God is at the heart and core of what it means to be a follower of Jesus because the Spirit takes permanent residence in your life. It goes with you wherever you are, empowers you to be who God made you to be, and transforms your life into something beautiful. Words matter. If you put your faith in Jesus, the Spirit of God 
is not just with you. He is within you.